Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Here we have all of our gear for the trailer. And when we're done with a few parts, first off we have, it's probably stood out, this huge 24 ounce can of rust Alone Black Turbo Spray System, four times faster. Whoa. Very turbo. Watch, when you press that on, don't spray it in the face. Maybe like the scene from uh, Colors. Some of you guys will get that graffiti scene. Right there, I guess this is supposed to be different. That's a big old can, guys. Uh, here's your typical size can. So that's glossy black, gloss enamel black, I'm sorry. Uh, we're gonna use that probably on the leaf springs and the axle and a few other, and the fenders uh, of our trailer. Um, this was a little supply haul we did today. Um, <laughs> I've been having some technical difficulties there, yum, yum, uh, that we did at Home Depot and Harbor Freight. So, uh, that can was, hang on guys, bear with me. I think that was $9 and change. Good enough. Yeah, all right. Don't fight with that. $9 and change, uh, if I'm not mistaken. I got to look at the receipt, which I don't have in front of me. So we got a can of that. We got a can of whatever. What is that? Uh... Rustoleum uh, primer. Yep. Yep. Primer. I, I figure we'll prime down the fenders since they're the outermost uh, part of the trailer, and they'll probably be taking a little more abuse than the rest of the trailer as far as um, bumping into things. So we're gonna prime it. I think it's the paint the better place to stick to. Right here we have. Yeah, bud. Gloss black Rustoleum stop. Rustoleum. Rust. Protective enamel, super durability. Premium quality, oil based. Yeah, this is the good stuff, guys. Oil based. We got now. Me and Evan have a bit of a dilemma here. We're not sure if we want to spray the trailer, like you use a um, um, high pressure spray gun uh, hooked up to the compressor and spray it, or if we're going to use paintbrush to and just paint it by brush. I'm not too sure yet, Ev. Me and Ev got to figure that one out yet. We got some talking to do, right, Ev? Yeah. So that's gloss black, guys. It's going to match the. Uh, the fenders and whatnot I figured so for some of the nooks and crannies that I can't get up the spray can I'll get in there with the brush um, or if that one big can is not enough for what we want to use it on then we got that can we can um, break it down a little bit thin it out and then uh, what do you got back there bud that's gonna be the color of the trailer right yep gloss sun rise red that's right so another can of rustoleum from uh, got this from Home Depot these cans were nine and change too um, I forgot how much the primer was. I don't have the Home Depot receipt with me, but. Uh, so this is the color we're gonna paint the overall trailer. Fenders and like the suspension part of it is gonna be the black, um, just to keep it simple. And I think those colors will look pretty sharp together. What do you think, Ev? Yeah. Evan's thinking of doing a white tongue on it. Isn't that what you wanted, bud? Yeah. All right, so let's move on to the Harbor Freight hole we got for some supplies that we needed for our project, right, Ev? Here we have. Krauss and Becker. Krauss. Krauss and Becker. Mmm. Paintbrushes, right? Yup. Got a couple different sizes. Well, I got four two, different two sizes. inches. Mm -hmm. And one one and a half inch. Yeah, so the uh, the two inch brushes were ninety-nine cents each. And uh, the inch and a half was sixty-seven cents. Uh, I bought the wrong brushes. They had ones that were on sale for 89 cents. I couldn't, I was in a rush. With everything going on, guys, I was in a rush to get out of the store. So I just took, a, I said, hey, 99 cents, I'll grab them. Um, that should give us plenty of paint brushes to do the red and the black. Uh, two for red, two for black, and the inch and a half we can uh, use um, in some of the tighter corners that we have. Right, Ev? Yep. What else we got, bud? Moving on. Three and a half inch mini flashlights, two pack, super bright 70 lumen output, knurled barrel for better grip, easy on off, lightweight aluminum construction, item 63885. As you can see, there's they have a little band on them. I'll take one out. Yeah, Evan called me up. He didn't come with us to Harbor Freight today because everything going on. Um, just better to keep him home. Uh, me and the wife went out, grabbed a few supplies today for the house. We were uh, properly PPV'd up. We had face masks on um, and our rubber gloves. I don't know if this is overkill or not, but safe and sorry, guys. So, this Evan sent me a little list, right, of stuff you wanted. Yeah. 
and you wanted the little flashlight, so I saw the two pack. Uh, real quick, guys, off the receipt, that two pack was um, two ninety nine. And this little wristband, no a lanyard, yeah. And you can shine it around. Yeah. Pretty cool. I so don't think that's room. 70 lumens, but I it's still pretty so. bright. Still bright. And it it takes three AAA batteries. You have one of these lights already, bud? One like it. One like oh, it. Oh, wait, we have a black one on the box. Yeah, I think we do have a black one somewhere over there. Hmm. But there's a two pack, two ninety nine. dollars Got a red and blue one for them. What else you got, Ev? Uh, Moving on. 11 inch block. Cable ties, 100 piece storehouse, item 60277, cable uh, zip ties. 299 guys. Type 21, you well listed. Mm. All right, and here we have two things of heat shrink tubing. Mm -hmm. Here I already have a pack just like this, but nine pieces sorted, Chicago electric power tools. Item nine nine six zero oh, two four. That one was a dollar forty nine. This one here. Those are the long pieces. They are. Uh, you got three of each size: three and a half millimeter by twelve, five millimeter by twelve, and seven millimeter by twelve. And here we have heat shrink tubing. Another one, one hundred twenty piece storehouse. Item six seven five three zero oh, includes thirty five thirty two inch. 30, 3 16th inch, 39, 32 inch, and 30, 5 16th inch. Uh, yeah, and that, how many is that, Ev? How many comes uh, in that? 120. That's 3 dollars That was $3.99, guys. What are you using these for that you need them? Trailer. Trailer, okay. Or a few other things, too. He's got a few future. little projects he does around here, guys. Moving on. Moving on. Four in one screwdriver, you see these everywhere, you get them for free with a coupon. And only they're not free now, right, buddy? Oh, yeah, how much was it? Uh, coupon for 74 cents. Yeah, you used to get them for free. As you can see, has your Phillips and flathead. This is the bigger version, that's a smaller one, 3 sixteenths of an inch and a half, quarter inch. And you just put one of them in one side and one of them in the other. Then you stick it in there, and then you got a screwdriver, and when you need to change it, you can. Perfect. Or you can use that as a socket. Yeah, it's the, um, yep, each side is different. Quarter inch, I believe. Oh, I just dropped the receipt, bud. Yeah, Sorry. quarter inch and three sixteenths. Pardon me, guys. Here we go. All right, moving on. I think everybody in the Harbor Freight world knows that screwdriver, Ev. Here we have seven-piece grinder brush set great for a wide variety of light to tough grinding jobs mm -hmm. item 90976 made by warrior 5 8 arbor maximum speed 12,500 rpm for use with grinders and they call it a seven pieces and also you count when you count the bolts is seven yeah pieces. seven pieces all together so it looks like we have here, uh, let's see what it comes with. Right on the back there. There you go, you can read that off. Hey, you hold this, I gotta go get the grinder for the folks. All right. Evan, the camera guy, is doing two jobs, guys. He's the camera guy, and he is also be narrating for a moment. Includes three inch knotted wire cup, three inch crimped wire brush, four inch cable twist wire reel, four inch stringer bead, wire wheel, these things are tongue twisters, 10 3 8 wire hand brush with hardware, with hardwood handle, and two arbor adapters, M10-1.25 uh, and M10-1.50. Oh. oh, who's that? Supergirl. Supergirl's coming for a little visit. Hey, Supes, say hi. S Supers, come here. She acts, like, star. she acts like she doesn't <laughs> know us when she walks by. Yeah, she's too fancy of a cat. So here's our grinder. We went over this in the last video, guys. This is the Drill Master. It's a four inch angle grinder. This thing has been a real life save. I've had this thing for years. I got this when I was doing my scrap metal to cut, uh, you know, copper tubing and um, 
you know, I don't know, just uh, here and there. If I need to hack something up, I'd use it. Uh, we've been really, this is, what do you say? You have the number one tool on our project so far, right? Yeah. Trail is coming along, guys. We're making a lot of progress, a lot of grinding. Uh, we've got a lot of, i got a whole the little back section to work on. There are some areas, though, I can't get in, like inside the channeling of the frame, which is why I got this kit today. Uh, I figure with these cups on it, I can sneak in, and with the wire here, uh, I can get in there. These wire, what are those things called, Dev? Oh. What are they using the name for that? Yes. Um, oh, it's a knotted wire cut brush, and then a crimped wire cut brush, cut brush, cable twist wire wheel. So I I'm think it's the cable twist wire yeah. wheel. You have a stringer bead wire wheel and a cable twist. So I'm going to say that this one is the um, cable twist and this is the, the beaded one. But um, I figure we can get into some of the areas of the frame that I can't get to with this grinder because it's kind of limited um, with, the, with the disc on here as far as the depth that it can get in. And now these are the... Um, oh. Yeah, Dev, move on to the next, do the flap disc, and we'll talk about them a little bit. Here we have two four-inch flap discs, 36 grits, both of them. Mm -hmm. Chicago Electric Power Tools, item 67642. And these are probably really good made. We haven't really had one get that much damage with on us. Yeah, here's one that's getting kind of worn out, guys, and I, I, I've been through about four of them already. I'm sorry, no, three of these already. This is the third one, um, I believe, and this is, I got an additional two to clean up the rest of the trailer with. But um, these are holding up pretty good. Um, let me get a price for, for you guys here. Um, the flap discs are $3.99. Now, what I don't understand, guys, is the four and a half inch flap discs, grinding wheels, etc. They're always on sale for $2.99. We have a four inch grinder, uh, which I don't know why it's always more expensive for, I would think a four inch would be less expensive than a four and a half inch, but maybe it's not. Maybe it's just a little bit more uncommon, I don't know. But um, I did buy two more of those. I really do like these guys. Again, they're gonna hold up as well as you can expect them to, but um, they've been doing a pretty good job for the task at hand. And then what do we get there, Ev? Here we have a four inch grinding wheel. 5 eighths R base size, 36 grit metal, 3 sixteenths of an inch thick, 13,700 max RPM. Mm -hmm. Um, trying to find an item number. Item 61362. Yeah, so that's been pretty good, guys, for getting some of the things that this can't get off. Some of the heavier flaked rust that's like really rusted on there. I've been, you know, taking this off to get, um, Taking uh, the flap disc off and putting the grinding disc on to help um, alleviate that problem. But um, again, that's uh, how much was that, Ev? Did I say? Uh, $199. Um, oh, you've got your glue sticks. Yeah, no. Oh, moving on. Here we have mini size multi temp, 50 glue sticks, add her. I have a little um, glue gun that I burned myself on. Yeah, as you Evan's, can see there. <laughs> Evan's looking like Freddy Krueger lately with all his burn marks. Well, not really one. Non-yellowing. Uh, this is for my little tiny glue gun that I use to hold all my little cardboard trinkets together. Tell them about that, Ev. What have you been doing lately? I've been making a bunch of little cardboard things. Like what? Like little cardboard cars, trailers, boats, a huge airplane. I just made it. It's like two and a half feet long yeah he's found a new little hobby you know guys they got school canceled by us and you're we're homeschooling a little bit with the curriculum but i mean honestly it doesn't take up all of the day he's getting bored and reckless so we're finding he's finding little things to keep him busy and he's taking up this little this the trailer project isn't really helping out i get home from work and we come outside and work on this um he comes down to the garage he's been whacking away at the fenders which we'll show you over here a little bit at a time um, but back to the glue sticks, they are of $4.99 for a bag of 50. And guys, because we need them and wearing the goggles are just so uncomfortable. Here we have West End Safety, Clear Safety Glasses, meets mm -hmm. ANSI Z87.1 standards, mm -hmm. unobstructed view, comfortable to wear, item 99762. And 
as you can see, not much else to them. Yeah, clear safety glasses, guys. Let me see the price on those. I think those were those were 99 cents, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, uh, I'm sorry, $1.99 each. I don't know, that's weird. She only has it on here once. That's weird. Oh, back to the grinding pack, Ev. Where is that? That was $9.99, and I used the favorite we call Dale Lucid 20% off Harbor Freight coupon. Shout out to Dale again for always putting that up um, and reminding us to use them when we come across them. Um, so that was brought down to, to $2 off. Um, we're going to give this a rating today, guys. We're going to open it up. I don't really need that wire brush. That just came with the packet, but... I'm going to use it. Okay, cool. Uh, we'll put everything in use. But I really want to try that set out, the wire brush set on the grinder. This is an 11,000 RPM grinder, guys, the four and a half inch one. And uh, I already lost a while ago, and I found it again, but this is to take the, uh, the tool to take the, your discs off. This is the Harbor Freight one that I replaced it with years ago. I forgot how much this was, but... Um, I just lost the one that goes with my grinder the other day, so I had to pull this out of the drawer and reuse it. I don't know, where the heck do we put that thing, do you remember? I think you fell off and got somewhere under the I have it zip tied on like I had the other one, so I gotta keep my eye on it, but I think that's it for the holes today, guys. We're gonna, we'll end the video here. Oh, what do you got? Fenders. Oh, hey, sure. hey check this out, We've guys. We've been working on these fenders. When we got them, they're all painted. Um, you can still see a bit. You see that right there? Mm. It was basically that, but all over the whole thing with the rust surrounding it. And we did a pretty good job on them. That's just the rust that comes off when you wipe it with a rag. Yeah. You can see. The steel fenders were in really good shape, guys. I straightened them out. They were dented up and they were um, dinged up a little bit and they were like bent, crooked sideways. So um, we straightened them out pretty good, right, Ev? Yeah. I don't know how expensive these are. I've seen the plastic. Um, plastic replacement ones, ones are like 20 bucks each. and the garbage you're gonna crack as soon as you hit something These are good old metal fenders that um, I figured hey, let's just put a little elbow grease into them grind them down sand them down and we'll just paint them up nice and uh, We'll uh, reuse them again. And uh, what do you got here F? Here we have little brackets that actually go onto the fender to hold it up so they go in just like that and then yep. that connects onto the behind the wheel and onto the trailer. Yeah, we got these cleaned up pretty good. We'll do a nice primer coat, paint them glossy black out, make them look nice. Ooh, that one's got a crack right there. Yeah, I don't think that's a big deal though. It's just holding the fender on. It's got a little crack there. I could probably put a when I get Aunt Jody's welder. And Jody, you don't know, but we're gonna probably borrow your Harbor Freight uh, little welder there. If you're watching. <laughs> if you're watching, Aunt Jody. Um, but anyway, uh, we'll, I'll just put a bead on that, spot weld it. Um, one thing I did notice, guys, I checked out the one in the store. Harbor Freight had one on sale for like oh, four and change. Oh, people say that they're garbage. They don't come with all the parts. Yeah. They're usually missing about like one to five parts each. I want to upgrade these to 12 inch rim, guys. These are an eight inch, um, but I got to look at the Harbor Freight deal. Um, I saw the trailer today. It looked like the same axle setup, the same leaf spring setup and everything. Um, but I want to try to upgrade to bigger tires and wheels. I just think less rolling resistance would be a little better and maybe a little more for trailer stability. I don't know, but we are making progress. I'm going to put a coat. As soon as I'm done, I got to grind this off here, guys. Um, straighten that little side out there. Do a little grind in here with the wheel brushes we have. And then we're going to put a coat of that black primer I have on it. The Rust-Oleum Rust Converter. Um, because it has been a little, uh, we're getting some rain here and there and some moisture, so um, we should. Undo all the we probably should take this off too, Rev. Yeah. You want to take that tongue jack off, get the impact gun out, and get the right socket. That looks like probably I don't know, maybe a five eighths or an eleven sixteenths. Uh, we'll pop that off, and I can grind around it, and then uh, we're gonna be ready to start painting this soon, guys. And we'll take you along for the ride. We'll probably have a few other little videos of just some little snippets yeah, here we'll and there. Post the trailer update pretty soon. Yeah, I got a little work in here. I'm gonna grind all this down, guys, with the grinding wheel, get it nice and clean. I believe these leaf springs should be in decent shape. I don't think they're at risk of cracking. I'm not putting a lot of weight in here, but I may just want to look to. I don't know. I'll check them out, see how much they cost, if they're easy to replace. Here you can see this monstrosity that I made. <laughs> I put this huge grinding wheel onto our tiny little drill, and it actually isn't working that bad. I'm trying to get him more used to using the bigger tools, guys. 
Um, he did. Oh, you did use that sander yesterday, and you yeah, had a pretty good time with it. And uh, some another tool that you can use on that kind of flaky rocks. Yeah. Is this guy? Yeah, we're gonna get in there. That's gonna be Evan's job, getting all those little tight areas. That does a good job, Ev. If you want to keep doing it with that, that's pretty good. All right, guys. So we'll catch up in another video, and we'll uh, we'll uh, see you in a little bit. We'll pause it here, and we'll catch up with the next update. See you later, guys. Bye bye. Bye bye.